this may not look like training to you, but actually it is it's socialization. So he's had a walk and um, I make him sit down. I get him into the sit stay position to allow him to look around, to see the sights, people coming and going. I allow him to do that and he's not allowed to move. Now, if he gets up, he will be put back down. He will be made to sit back down and just watch. So he gets that mental stimulation. So there's two elements of training. There's physical and there's mental. Indoor, outdoor, everything's got a balance. So with him, he's sitting his ass down because he does have a prayer drive. And if he locks onto something or he um, stands up and starts staring, he'll be corrected. You know how I issue a correction? I issue with a click and a touch. That's all I do. Or if I can't use my hands, I'll use my feet. My feet is a tool and I'll nudge him with my foot. You see how he turned around then? I'll just nudge him. Anything to stop the brain going forward, to stop it spinning round and around and around. Now see how XL Bully behaves in public. Sat down, look at that. The leash is slack. See, I was going to let it dangle on the floor, but then I'd be breaking the law, you know? Just to show you that it's there, you know? across my lap, not a problem. This is part of his training, is to sit and be still. If he gets up, he will be put back down again. He has to learn just to wait, just to watch. Just because something's going on way over there doesn't mean that your nose needs to be in other people's business. You can sit down, mind your business. If there's a cat somewhere or there's a bird, he's, a guy's playing music in, in his van, so he's looking. But if there's a bird on the ground, it's not your business to be in that bird's business. If there's another dog in the, in the park walking by, because this is a pa memorial park. Look, it's a memorial park. If there's another dog that walks by, it's not your business to be in th their business or their owner's business, anybody's business. Your business is with me. But look how he moves his head. He's watching, he's taking in his surroundings. This is part of social socialization. People literally come up to stroke him and I have to let them know, don't invite yourself up to him because I'm training him to wait until he's been invited for affection. But look, he's just looking around, he's seen birds, he does have a prey drive, which is why I take him out. Look, he's, he's watching the birds, but he's not locked on, he's not staring, that head's moving. So if he was staring, because I've got one hand holding the leash and the other holding the phone, I'd simply use my foot to nudge him, to correct him, to break him out of what he's doing. He's looking up at a bird. There we go, there's more birds. That's where his head's going, where the birds are going. But look, in all this time I've been filming, he hasn't once got up, but that's all part of his training. Good, good boy.